Hello everyone, G-Dubs Collects is back with a fun little Friday rip. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I've been able to do one of these. So we were getting uh, two of these, uh, I believe they're called blister packs is what I've heard in the biz. A nice little value fat pack and a hanger box. And now all of these uh, were purchased. Um, uh, this one was purchased at Target, actually, but these ones were purchased at um, Walmart, so we get the Royal Blue Base Parallel, so that's exciting. This is honestly the first time I've ever opened these um, in my life, not just on this channel. So I'm going to start with one of these because uh, I've never done it before, but I've seen enough people open them, um, so this will have a... <laughs> which I still can't believe Pops does this. Just a loose blue parallel in between these two cards. So let's see what we got. Brandon Dixon. So the nice thing is you can't really search them. I mean, I suppose if you really try, you might be able to see like who that is. And if you know the card, maybe you got a shot at it, but at least it kind of is unsearchable. Um, I see a lot of people are very much not excited about these cards, <laughs> which I get it. Uh, there's, there's a reason why the set is the way it is. The year was the way it was. That looks like a an interesting card. Nice Nolan Ryan here. Um, that's the 88, which I believe is what everything is. Yeah, just looks like this set is really tough for um, identifying nice cheater that's cool with this classic follow-through pose this set is very very tough for identifying um identifying uh short prints because a lot of them look like they should be short prints so there we go Bo Bichette debut very nice card um so anyway how are you guys i had to uh, take a little time off i got really really busy um, but as you will see very, very soon, the man cave is finally move in ready for the most part. <laughs> There's still uh, a few, few things I got to do that we're doing some, um, built in bookshelves, uh, along the side, David Ortiz, love that. Um, and those are not done yet. So, oh yeah, baby. I think I already have this one, but very very nice and i love i love these cards uh, as you know from my um if you've been following along on my um, mail day videos you have, are well aware that i'm collecting those throwback sets all the way back to 2017 um, when they did the 30th anniversary and then Starting in 2018 and on, they did um, the 35th anniversary. So um, that's where we're collecting at now. Um, so yeah, so uh, that's a very nice card. Nice, we're gonna get a chrome turkey red coming up. Would be nice if that was a top rookie. A little trout action, Bellinger, and we got Castellanos. Not too shabby take it as I just throw it on the ground. Ryan Howard, Turner, Yamaguchi rookie. There's the Aquino debut. Another David Ortiz, very nice. Lazardo and Kyle Lewis, they always follow each other in this set. Very nice. So yeah, it's, um, you know, it's, the set is what it is at this point, but it's still fun to rip. So let's jump into the hanger box here. Yeah, so um, I got distracted there by the bow. Uh, we're doing some built-in bookshelves in the man cave. Um, so that is not done yet. Uh, so that definitely um, delays the ability to put things, you know, everything up. However, uh, I've started to go through some of the bins that are down there. Uh, started to just kind of get things into the piles of the room. Um, section them off whether they are let's uh, just split these bad boys up there we go 
um, kind of splitting them up and getting them into quadrants uh, where they will go. There's the Trent Grisham rookie, very nice. Always great to get something like that out of the hanger box. The uh, One of the top rookies in this one. Um, oh, you know, this might be Hunter Pence's last card as an active player. There we go. Jesus Lizard and Kyle Lewis, the rookie of the year again. So this, this little back of the pack is gonna be identical to the last one that we just pulled. All right, so we are gonna get some of the blue parallels. I believe there's two blue parallels in the, the hanger box, so that's nice. So yeah, so as I um, still need to finish those uh, built-in bookshelves, my uh, father-in-law, who's just been an absolute legend when it comes to um, redoing my house and doing all the upgrades, because Lord knows I couldn't do it myself. Um, so it's been great, he's been awesome, and so we are going to be doing that soon. We got a rainbow foil coming up. Would love it to be a good card. It's a Roldis Chapman. Not bad, but not... <laughs> wow. Okay, I think I have this card now. <laughs> well, at this point, I'll be able to send it into PSA myself. And there we go, Gavin Lux, Turkey Red. And Brady Singer, I don't... I think I had Brady Singer yet. Taiwan Walker and Greg Holland are our blue exclusive blue cards. All right, so we've got one last chance for a big blue parallel here. Um, so yeah, so once we finish those bookshelves, we'll be 100% done with the man cave. Um, and it will be fully display ready. What do we got here? Luis Severino. Nice. I'm sure some Yankee fans will like that because it's the blue. Similar to the Yankee blue. A little off. But it's the royal blue as opposed to the evil empire blue. Um, yeah, at this point, I think I'm going to be able to send in those Bo Bichette cards to PSA myself and get a, get a gem mint 10, so I won't have to buy that one. Oh, here we go. Cameron Mabin. That means Randy Rosarina and his frayed edge here. Why is the, why is this always the case? You know, every other card looks great when you finally get the card you want. Frayed edges, unbelievable. Uh, da, 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 da. Is it triggering you guys at home to that I'm just not flipping the cards anymore? I'm just not wasting my time doing that. <laughs> so yeah, I'd say probably. Um, from when this video gets posted, I would say I'm about a month away from getting those shelves done, uh, which will be nice. And uh, then I will do the full tour. I'm gonna have a, a video up of the um, before and after uh, progress video go up. Um, so you guys can see um, what it looked like before and what it looks like now. And uh, the, it might, might shock a few of you because boy, oh boy, it was a, it was a rough, rough room. Um, all right, so as I just split up these real quick, um, there we go, okay. So for a little hit recap for, unfortunately the blue parallels didn't do great, but Luis Severino, Taiwan Walker, Greg Holland, and Brandon Dixon. So that leaves a lot to be desired. Um, we did get for parallel uh, rookie cards. We got a couple turkey reds. Haggerty snuck in there somehow. We did get the Gavin Lux turkey red, um, which is great. We got the Brady Singer, uh, Roldis Chapman, Rainbow Foil. We got the uh, Castellanos um, turkey or turkey red chrome. And the biggest hits. We did get Randy Rosarina, which is great. We got two Bo Bichette um, throwbacks. We got the Grisham. We got a couple rookie debuts. Uh, pretty much all the rookie debuts, uh, minus Jordan. And uh, for some reason, Luis Robert didn't have one. Tops didn't want to make a ton of money, I guess, on this set, which is crazy since 
I mean, I slightly appreciate it because you're not uh, flooding the market, but if you've looked at any of the other uh, tops uh, sets from the year, they flooded the market with Luis Robert, that's for sure. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today. This was a fun little uh, fun Friday rip. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next on the fun Friday rip. Um, and uh, I'll see if my uh, LCS has it because Lord knows Target and Walmart in my area won't have it. So thank you guys so much. Take care. Uh, keep the hobby alive. Keep on collecting.